twin turbo V6 will help you make the yellow light every time. Hello everyone, my name is Dietrich and today we are test driving a 2025 Genesis GV70 3.5T advanced. 3.5T of course indicates that we have a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 on board. 375 horsepower and 391 torques all hooked up to a very smooth and smart eight-speed automatic transmission. Full-time all-wheel drive is standard. It's kind of a rear-biased all-wheel drive system, so aiming for a little bit more neutral handling, but it can shift power to the front wheels when traction conditions dictate. I have been enjoying driving this car. I must say this 375 horsepower that we have here is somehow slightly underwhelming. I did expect it to be a little bit quicker. Um, not that it's a slow car, but I've driven a GV80 Genesis. Here, let's go full throttle. Okay, that's 40, that's 50, and that's 60. So that's what you're working with. It's definitely faster than the four-cylinder, but it's not, you know, it doesn't feel like a muscle car. And quite frankly, I've driven a GV80 with the, with the Turbo 4, and I've driven a couple of Hyundai products with that uh, 2.5-liter turbo four-cylinder engine in it. If I was going to give advice to a friend or a family member about getting into a GV70, I'd probably tell them to just get the Turbo 4, because even though the V6 is a bit faster... I don't think it's enough to really warrant the additional price. Don't get me wrong, it, it is nice to drive, but so is the four-cylinder turbo. That's about half throttle. It's got a nice little growl to it. It sounds nicer than the turbo four. The handling... I would say is good on this car. It's probably not, you know, if we're going to talk about its primary competitors, probably not quite as good as an X3. Definitely not quite as good as a Porsche Macan, but a Macan with these features and this horsepower would probably cost you $20,000 more. Uh, Acura RDX is a little bit more sure-footed. But this still strikes a nice balance. The steering's pretty responsive, and the ride is smooth. The seats are comfortable. It's not super roomy, especially in the back seat. I'm a tall guy, and there's virtually zero room behind me when I have my seat in my normal driving position. I'd say this is one of the kind of least roomy cars in the class so if you need the ultimate in passenger space and you're trying to stay in the compact luxury SUV class you might want to look elsewhere what I like the most about this car is honestly the way it looks both on the inside and the outside I think it's a very very nice looking vehicle it's distinctive um I think the interior has a lot of really cool touches. There's some drawbacks to it. I'm sure this is potentially showing up on the video in some kind of a way, but I'm just driving into the sun, essentially. Not even kind of the sun's over there, but I'm getting glare off of the little chrome on the uh, little ovoid bit on the dash. But overall, it's a nice car to drive. And it does have power. It's just not... Ah. Somehow I was expecting it to be a little bit more of a kick. And, you know, quite frankly, for a 3.5 liter V6 with two turbochargers in this day and age, 375 horsepower is not mega output. I mean, it's good. It's over 100 brake horsepower per liter, but, you know... And it sounds better than the four, but it doesn't sound great. It just has 
little bit of a brassy note to it. It doesn't sound bad, it's just not not a great, great sounding six cylinder engine. No wireless Apple CarPlay, that's a bummer. The ambient lighting at night looks really cool. It is pretty refined. I'm doing about 75 right now, and this one's got the 21 inch rims on it because it's an advanced. And really no, I mean, there's a little bit of tire noise, there's a little bit of wind noise, but the cabin is very well isolated. The car comports itself well on a road like this. It, it has a flow to it. Actually probably drives a little bit better than I would have expected. Sometimes with the Hyundai products, I feel like they get everything right and then they're like very good, very good, excellent, very good, very good. And then when it comes to the driving experience, it's like, okay. Maybe they put a little bit more effort into this one because it's a Genesis and therefore more expensive. So they had a little more money to play around with to tune the chassis a little bit better. I have a feeling this line of traffic will keep me well within the speed limit on the drive back, which is fine. Make my funky little U-turn right here. And go hard. <laughs> uh, uh, just get the four, honestly. Just get the four cylinder. The six is cool, but it just, it's not quite there. The power to me is not quite there. It, I almost feel like, here, and let's let's play around. Let's, okay. Can I go into top gear? No, I can't. All right, so I'm in sixth gear. I want to go a little faster to play. I, th I have a theory that this car is, the, the final drive is very tall on this car, and that may blunt straight line performance, but the engine allegedly has so much horsepower and torque that that shouldn't make that much of a difference. So let's see, I wanna use, okay, I'm in eighth gear. Eighth gear at a little over 60 miles an hour, I'm doing 1500 RPM. So maybe that holds water. Either that or because I occasionally drive a V12 Mercedes S65 AMG, my sense of speed is so warped in a car that nothing feels fast anymore. Even the Mercedes, because it's so quiet and smooth even when you're well north of 100 miles an hour. Not that I would ever do that on a public road, but I've heard that. This car does feel, I don't know, at, at lower speeds, it's very relaxing to drive. They do, the when you get a Korean car with the fancy navigation system, like the big screen on the newer ones, let's see. I, want, I need to go home, and I want to go, no, I need to go, my seatbelt is cinched up on me here. Let's go with media. Yes, sounds of nature. Okay, so this is a Korean car thing. You can pick all these different, you can have rainy day, moment of meditation, warm fireplace, experience the universe. Let's put that on. Oh, wow, man. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in my dorm room at Humboldt State listening to Pink Floyd, man. <laughs> Did you know that, like, there's more planets in the universe than there is 
grains of sand on Moonstone Beach, man. Like, think about that. All the little sands, man, and there's like planets. All right, I'll stop doing my stoner voice now. I just think it's funny that they put like, life must be so stressful in Korea that they're like, okay, uh, you gotta be able to listen to a rainy day in your car. There you go. Although I think it rains a lot over there too. How about city at dawn? Oh yeah, this one's weird because you hear like footsteps and stuff. I don't like this one. I don't really love any of that, to be honest, because it's a little, I think that's a little bit gimmicky. Because if you're internet savvy and you have Bluetooth audio streaming, since this beast doesn't have wireless Apple CarPlay, you can just play some ambient sounds off of your smartphone. But there you go, they're built into the car for your convenience. And I think that's kind of pretty much all I have to say about driving this thing. It's cool. The V6 is a little bit faster than the four, but probably not enough to make it worth the money. Yeah, it's a little bit small. It could use wireless CarPlay. It's got a great stereo. I love the style and it drives decent. And it's definitely worth a look. I'd rather have this than, I'd take this over a Q5 or a Macan any day of the week. Uh, I would probably, I'd rather have this than a Lexus. Although the new Lexus RX is nice, so I'd rather have this than an RX. Hmm. I don't I'd probably rather have this than an Acura RDX because the RDX has that touchpad, but the RDX does drive better than this does. So that might be kind of a tough call. This one feels a lot more modern though. Nah. I'd rather have a GLC than this, and I'd probably rather have an X3 than this. And that's pretty much my breakdown. So I'll put a link to my full review in the comments if you'd like to check that out. As always, please like my video and subscribe to my channel and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.